So you will not need any props today. Start yourself in the center of your mat, hands just on your hips. Find the abs engaged from pubic bone, belly button, belly button to rib cage. And just give a little sway back and forth, you guys. Let's find our breath. Inhale, nose, exhale, mouth. Can you guys hear me okay? I've got the mic, so it should be good. So just settle into the feet. Let's take an inhale, lift the heart, open it up. Exhale, hands down, center heart. Put your hands on your quads and just fold it all the way down. We're going passive squat. And then start to coast up. Now, if those hips are tight as you do this, heel toe more open and have a lateral turnout going. Hands to center heart. Reach it all the way up. Big swan dive open. Lift the heart. Roll it all the way down again. Hands onto the quads. Deepening into your squats. You do have full flexion here. And then start to pull it up again. Snow dive open. Big inhale. Exhale, hands center heart, and then just straighten out that squat. Come down to a squat position. I just see someone coming on. Just let me jump them in here. So we're going to find our squat here, nice and long, neutral spine, neutral pelvis. And then tuck the tailbone, exhale, grab behind the legs, tuck your tailbone right under, big breath into the flexion. Inhale, find yourself into squat. And exhale and tuck. Let's go two more. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, tuck, really get that tailbone tucked under. Inhale, squat, neutral spine, neutral pelvis. Exhale, tuck, and then hold the squat here. Just get a little bit of shifting forward and backwards, shoulders down and away, and if you're okay, make it a bit more purposeful. Slow it down a little bit, and actually give me a releve, getting into some balance points. Lift those heels, lower them down, and again, rock forward, lift the heels, Lower them down one more time and lift and hold as I fall forward. Lower them down. Let your arms dangle. Reach long. Extend the legs through and look through your legs. Let that head just dangle down. Take a big breath here. Exhale. Bend the knees. Drop the tailbone. Curl the spine. Big swan dive open. Exhale. Hands down. Center heart. Reach forward. Open up your fingers. Pull your palms back. Look off to one side. Lift the heart. Extension. Exhale, heart hug down and round. And then go the other direction. Palms open, look the opposite. Big breath. Opposite arm on top, heart hug down. And then open, lift that heart. Big breath here, you guys. And let that float all the way down. Roll those shoulders. We're going to do a little more traditional warm-up. We don't have props. Start at the end of your mat. Reach it up. Come around the corner, vertebrae by vertebrae. Hands to the ground. Walk out to cat. Four. Three, knees down on two and one. Uncurl the toes for now. Draw the abs in. Start a little sternum drop. So drop through your shoulders. Press away. So remember, if you have any issues going on the hands or the wrists, go on your elbows on an ottoman. Go two more. Push away. And one. Now stay in the pushed away. Angry cat. Round the spine. Exhale all the way up. Hold this. Lean back. Sit towards your heels. Walk those fingers forward. Feel that extra little pull. And then come back up to four-point stance. Untuck your tailbone. Go through neutral. Look up and give me that cow. Big breath here. Exhale. Drop your tailbone heavy and curl all the way around. Hinge back. Walk your fingers forward. As you walk forward, feel the stretch through the lats going along the shoulder girdle. And then come back up into your four-point. And then go through into your cow. Come back up into center. Curl the toes, and I just want you to sink back into the toes, get them curled right underneath, and come up. So remember, if you have any um, tight knee issues or you've got anything going on in your toes, just don't go back as far. Let's go two more. Push back and come forward. Now stay in the back. Walk yourself up. Knees don't like this. Come higher. If you're okay, stay down. Place the hands behind you and stretch them down. Open the chest. Reach it out. Now if that's tight, just reach. Don't worry about interlacing. Open that up. Couple good breaths here, you guys. One more big breath. Slowly let yourself release out of that. Come back into your four-point stance. Keep the curls toes, or the toes curled. Neutral spine, neutral pelvis. Lift an inch, short plank, one. Let's hold this for four, 
Three, draw your abs in nice and strong. Two, and one, let that go. Uncurl the toes, give it a little paddle. Sit back if you need to. Reset those toes, come back into position and lift again. Now in the short plank on this one, if it feels good, go to short plank two, extend one leg up and bring it down. Remember the butt doesn't lift any higher. Just move from the hip joint. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Push away from the floor, find that strength through your shoulder set position. Go two more and down. And last one, you can go child pose or up into your elephant down dog, you guys. Press that away, lean into it, start a little poodle wag here. So with your hands on the floor, if this is tight, lift the heels, bend, lift the heels, bend the knees and wiggle here. If you're okay, straighten out the legs and add your wiggle from left to right. If you feel at all unbalanced, widen your hands on the floor. Couple inhales, exhales. And then we're going to come back all the way up on the balls of the feet, bring the knees down, uncurl, and sink back, widen into lateral rotation, sink back with your chest dropping through into your hips. You can put your head into your hands or you can stretch your arms out. In this position, give a little wiggle from left to right. Start to feel a bit of mobility through the hips. Find your inhale, exhale. Hands strong, bring your knees back into neutral. Nice and strong. Now, if you're okay with long plank, go ahead and reach the arms forward. The knees are coming off. If you're not okay with it, stay on the knees. Curl the toes and press up into your full plank. Tuck the tailbone. Let's get some pouncing cat here. Bend back, go forward. Inhale and exhale. Nice and strong. Let's go four more. Get your knees, elbows, wrists, ankles. Everything's getting warmed up. We're going to add on a reach forward with the left leg. So as you pounce forward, drive the left leg towards the outside of the hand. Drop the knee and let's roll it up to the sky. Big extension here, you guys. Bring that hand back down to the floor. Lift that knee. Push the hips back. You're in a down dog or elephant. Drive the other knee forward. Lower it down. Rotate open. Stretch out that chest. Bring the hand down into connection. Bring the knee off, push that leg back. So let's start that in a bit of faster movement. Press forward and come out. So just the lunge part. So if I'm not okay up on the wrists and the toes, here's my modification. My knee might go out to the side more versus way up to my hands. That's okay. Go where you feel comfortable. You're just looking at gaining a bit more mobility as we move here. Let's go four more. Three, keep your breath flowing. Go two and one. And then lower the knees, uncurl the toes, walk the hands back. Come all the way up. Widen out your stance with your knees. Roll your shoulders. Reach the arms to the sky. Drop one arm to the side. I'm just going to face you straight on. And go into a lateral flexion in knee position. Take a glance to the floor. Push your hips in opposition. Really stretch that arm and let's get a lateral going here. Nice big breath. Sweep this top arm down to the floor. Bring it to tall. Reach. Opposite arm goes over. Someone's pulling a guide wire on my middle finger and pressing it out. Leaning the hips. Look down to the floor. Actively reach that free arm down the leg. Actively stretch the top arm with energy over. Nice big breath into the rib cage. Slowly roll it through. And then both arms up, lift the heart. Exhale, hands down, center heart. Place the hands, curl the toes. So my hands are very close to my knees and I'm just gonna push back. So I'm just gonna stretch here in a deep squat, rounding the spine. Now, if you're able to get your heels down, go right ahead. I'm not, my heels are not down, I'm lifted. But I am rounding the spine fully to get that flexion. Slowly start to stand up. If this is tough, hands on the shins or the quads. Look through your feet and just get into that forward fold position. Inhale, exhale here. Bend the knees fully. Slowly articulate up. Big breath at the top. Exhale, hands down, center heart, passive squat. So nice and wide. And we're just going to come down to the knees to start with. It feels okay. Stay here. If you're feeling good, one hand's going down, other hand's going down. Still good all the way down, guys. Go ahead and start to mobilize to the hips. 
this is pure mat. So those wrists are going to take some work. So are the fingers. So I've folded my hands so that my fingertips are facing up. I'm stretching out through the knuckles. And then the opposite direction. Now, if you can't get that low, do this on your legs up higher, right? Otherwise, down you go and just kind of move those wrists around in different positions to stretch things out. Couple inhales, exhales. And then if you can settle your heels down, try and get the heels settled. Take your elbows, push into the knees and lift the heart. We're just opening up that inner thigh a little bit. See if you can wiggle those hips open. So as I get into this and it starts to open up, I'm going to go into a deeper lateral rotation. Nice big breath here. Bring the hands down, lean forward, bring those heels off, slowly stretch it out, turn the toes back into neutral parallel, slowly peel all the way up. At the very top, give a little roll, let's stretch in opposition, hands on the PSIS, relax the belly, and just push the hips out. Slowly cycle the chest open into extension. And then gently bring it back. Let's go one more time, start to press into those hips. Don't worry about zippering up. We're just looking at finding that mobility in our back. And then slowly come in. So we're going to go a little deeper there. Stand towards the back of your mat. Reach it. Let's roll it all the way down again. Bend knees, hips, ankles. Walk out to full plank. Four, three, all the way out in two and one. Lower the knees, uncurl the toes, lower the chest. A little bit of floppy. So a little lateral rotation. Let your booty go. Let your belly go. Push into your palms. And just come up a little bit. Remember, we're not looking for connection here. I'm looking for movement of the lumbar spine. Movement of the whole spine, actually. And then gently bring it down. Now, if that's working for you, you can come a bit higher. Sneak your hands in closer. Press it up. Remember, the minute you feel yourself pulling your abs up and in or clenching the glutes, that's as high as you want to come. Nice big breath. The glutes will connect in order to protect the back, but we want the movement. One more time. Wiggle the boots. Let the abs go. Lengthen it up. Feel that stretch occur. A little no on the neckline. And gently bring it all the way down. So we're going to connect into a sphinx. So bring your arms making 11s on your mat. Reach the legs parallel. Open as comfortable. From here, instead of being lazy with the abdominals and letting them relax, you're going to pull them up. Notice how that changes the spine. Then that takes that sensation out of the spine. That little compression sensation. Draw your shoulders into your back pockets, and if you're okay, look parallel to the floor. So your chin is parallel, you're looking straight ahead. Just find some really nice breaths here, warming up the back extensors in a hold position. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Notice if you're starting to drip into your shoulders, if the belly's starting to distend down, draw everything up and in. Should not be in a big butt squeeze, though. We don't need the butt squeeze. One more big breath. Turn your elbows out to the side. Slowly come down. Hands nice and strong. And bring the legs into parallel. Press it up. So we're just going to do some traditional push-ups. If you know you like it in full, go ahead. I'm staying with the knees down. And I'm going wide stance. Go down for three. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, press away. Sip, sip, sip and press. Only come as far as you're keeping neutral spine, neutral pelvis. If this is feeling good, you can go up to the toes. And again, for when I go up to the toes, I can't go all the way down without reaching with my head. So I'm going to stay more shallow. Inhale, inhale, inhale. One more. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Lift the hips and prance into your down dog this time. So we've warmed up those toes, push into the calf line and prance off the floor with some good purpose here. Stretch that out as you paw the ground. Drop both heels. Drop deeper into your down dog. As you exhale, deepen that. And we're going to do one little attitude here. Rise up. Come right over your shoulders. Bring your hands back into parallel versus shoulder width distance. And drive one knee in. So I'm in a plank and I'm rounding slightly. And I'm going to extend out. I can do this on my knees. Inhale in. Exhale, kick. Inhale in, exhale, kick. So you will rock forward and then press back. Go one more time for me. Stay in the press back. Stay here, you guys. Open that up. Take your hip, open it to the side. 
and then bend that leg. A little bit of attitude here. Nice big breath. Bring that hip right back into parallel. And we're going to drive this leg between our hands. Drive it forward. Nice and strong. Now, if this is difficult, lift those hips. Lift the chest. Get connected. Up we go. We're actively reaching. Bend into your front leg and press away. Again, if you need something to balance on, go ahead. If you're okay and you can start reaching the arms, we're going to reach and press. Go only as deep as you feel nice and stable. Back leg is long and straight. Let's go two more. And one. Stay slightly down. Take your back leg, tuck it in a bit. I tapped you in the sternum bone, come facing up and pull down. Back leg is bent now for the lunge. Let's go four. If you have weights, you can use them, you guys. I just don't have anything like that here. Let's go two more. Now stay in the down. Small tuck of the tailbone, reach the arms. Bow and arrow to the back leg. Exhale, inhale. Give it a pull. Bring it back. Look over that back shoulder. If you can go a bit deeper, let's go. Let's go three more. And two. And one. Stay here in the forward. Lower the knee. And let's press into the hip. So I'm just going to inch my way in. Slowly pushing forward and going back. If you feel good to go all the way forward right off the bat, go ahead. Denise, take your bottom leg. See how you get that big angle? Push that forward. Your front leg, your front leg, sorry. Move your front leg farther forward. Yeah, yeah. So that you can get into the back hip and the front knee stays strong. This feels okay, stay here. Press into the hands, lift the heart, still okay. One arm up, still okay, both. If you're all right, you can go into that bind and stretch. Just decide where your body needs to go. Couple inhales, exhales here, you guys. Slowly release, turn that leg out to the side. Hand goes down or elbow. I can't get my elbow down. If it feels good, get your elbow down. I'm gonna push into my knee and rotate into my gecko. Looking over my shoulder. Again, any hip issues, don't overstretch here. Nice and gentle with it. Bring it back to center and push back into a little hammy stretch. Point and flex the foot from that ankle joint. Bring both hands to the inside of the front leg and just sweep that leg back and around. So we're gonna go into that plank again where we're driving the knee in and out. Curl the toes, lift. You might need to back the feet up to find yourself set. Slide your shoulders into your back pockets. And then the opposite knee is driving in and pushing out. You can go on your knee. You do not have to be up on toes. Go one more and then hold it here. Flex the foot reaching for the sky. Open up your hips into arabesque. Point the toes and then flex that foot into attitude. Open that up or flex the knee, should I say. Get that nice little twist going on. Rotate your hips so your pelvis is now centered. We're going to drive that leg forward, right? I'm going to drive it forward. If I have to, I can use this hand to help it get there. And then I'm going to make sure I'm set, not on a balance beam. Up I come. I always take a few minutes just to find this. Decide where I need to be before I start my reaches, right? So reach and pull. Press and pull. So I'm lengthening away and coming back. Let's go two more. And one. Now stay in the down. Bring the back leg in a little bit. Tap you in the sternum bone. Pulling from the sky. Down we go. Exhale, inhale. Keep yourself in a slightly supported spine or for sure neutral. Don't let this leg go so far back you're archy in the back, right? We want to stay fairly neutral if we can maintain it. Go two more. Now stay in the down. As deep as you'd like. Small tuck. Bow and arrow to your back leg. Let your vision go with it. Now, the vision going with it is going to cause balance stuff. So really find that room cut in half, chin parallel to the floor, and focus on that balance component. Stay here. Slowly let that go down. Uncurl the toes. Inchworm that leg farther forward. And press in and out of that hip flexor. So as I press in and out of the hip flexor, I'm also getting deeper knee flexion and deeper hip flexion. See if your body's inviting it. Press into it, stay. 
Push away with your chest line, feels good. Reach one arm, reach the other, still good. Go into your bind. As I fall over, lift that heart. Couple inhales, exhale. So the bigger you inhale, exhale, the more stretch you're going to get, the more breath you're going to pull in. Slowly come out, push the hips out. Take this leg, move it to the side. Hand down or elbow, depends on you. Find your gecko here. So I'm going to push either my elbow or my hand into that knee. The sole of my foot can face up. I can be on the side of my foot as I rotate into this. And then rotate through peekaboo to the sky. One more big breath. De-rotate. Bring that leg back into its neutral position and sit down into your hamstring stretch. I like a point and flex on the foot. Just activates a little bit more calf and hamstring line. Play as you feel comfortable. Both hands to the front of the front leg. Bring that all the way around. Hands nice and strong. Curl those toes under you guys. Lift and one last little down dog pressing in through to the toes. We're going to walk our hands to our feet. So widen your foot stance. Walk your hands in. Flat hands. So if you can't get there, bend, right? Flat hand as you walk in. Let everything dangle. Slowly articulate vertebrae by vertebrae. Big breath at the top. Exhale, hands down, center heart. Roll those shoulders. Take a walk to the front of your mat. I'm just going to pull mine back. I think with the shadow of the tree, it's a little easier, I think, if I'm forward and I'm not hiding behind the tree. So find a lateral rotation in the hips, and we're going to do a passive squat. Roll and then sit up on your booty. So if you don't like this, you can just sit right up. So I've gone into my deep passive squat. I'm going to roll and then come back into my tall sit. So let's find our diamond roll back, you guys. Heels together. I'm about six, seven fifths from heel to pubic bone. It's not about the groin stretch, about the lower back stretch. Take your hands, grab behind the knees. Use those to sit yourself up into tall sits bones. Take a breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone round your spine. Don't lose your chin. Hollow the abdomen and feel that lower back stretch here. And then pull yourself forward. Hang out here for a moment. Wiggle your tailbone from left to right, kind of sway left and right, and you'll notice you get a little deeper into your stretch. Lumbar spine and diamond roll back stays vertical to the earth, thoracic and cervical, round. Take a big breath, and then stack to toe. Let's go again. Exhale, scoop as you hollow. On this one, hands go in between the legs. Pull your legs in a little tighter. Wrap those hands, and again, if you've got short arms, you're not going to be able to do that, right? Just kind of see where you can go here. Your hands don't have to go around your feet. Imagine my hands on your pelvis, pulling your hips back as you pull your upper torso forward. So you're exaggerating that stretch into flexion. Big breath into the lower back. And then stack yourself to tall. Reach the legs. Make sure you've got nothing behind you. You're in lateral rotation. And we're just going to do the lead into sacral rock and then rolling like a ball. So I want you to scoop off your tailbone, drag your legs up, find your balance point. Balance point, the heels to sits bones, knees to shoulders stays the same distance. Chin is about a fist difference. And then press away, put your hands behind you and sit tall. If you want to put your fingers down, find beach pose and lift a bit, go ahead. Here we're going to roll off our sits bones. The arms are going to come forward. We're just going to grab around, round your spine. One more big breath here. Exhale, push those legs away. Fingertips go back. Find your beach pose. And in this one, we're going to stay back there. Remember, on rolling like a ball, you need a good cushy mat, right? Pull it all the way in. Round the spine. And let's roll like a ball for five, you guys. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, find your balance point. Inhale. Exhale. So tendency here, keep going for me, is to throw your head back or throw your legs back to get the movement. Increase the abdominal connection or crunch to have the movement occur. So think of a sit up, pulling in stronger to get there. We're going to do one more and then stay in your tall sit. Reach those legs out tall. Now, if you're having a hard time finding tall in the spine, sit up on a block here. I'm going to put my heels in the corner. If I'm a little tight in hammies, I'm going to bend the knees and I'm going to go into my spine stretch. Inhale, float up. Exhale, head and hands down. Inhale, float. Thoracic spine stretching more. Inhale, float. 
Exhale, a little deeper, so don't reach forward for hammy. Get that lumbar spine vertical to the earth. Bend those elbows, feel thoracic stretch. And then peel to tall. One more time, float the arms up. Exhale, come down, head and upper spine. Inhale, arms float up. Exhale, round a little deeper. Inhale, up. Exhale, a little deeper. On this one, we're going to go into hammy stretch. Lift and fold forward as far as you can. When I get into this position, I find a little rocking from left to right. I kind of lift up my booty. So remember here, if that's aggravating the back at all, your knees are going to be bent. You're going to be sitting taller. Just kind of showing you an example there, right? A little higher. If you're okay, down you go. If you're still okay, bring your legs right together. Feel the difference in the stretch. You are rocking from left to right, so I'm lifting up my ass cheek from left to right. Hold here, stack to tall. If you brought your legs in narrow, bring them back to wide. And then reach the arms out. Let's go spine twist. So staying nice and tall, pelvis stays forward. Inhale, rotate. Inhale, rotate. Inhale, look to your backhand. Freeze here, look to your quad. Are you tightening the quads up? Let those go. Use your abs to rotate you and bring it back to center. Inhale, rotate. Inhale, rotate, grow an inch. Inhale, rotate, let's hang out on this side. Look, make sure one leg didn't get shorter than the other. The quads aren't over firing. Bring it to center one more time. Inhale, rotate. Inhale, rotate, grow an inch. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, center, last time. All the way down, relax the hands. So you need lots of room behind you. Scooch forward, grab behind the knees and you're gonna bring the knees up as you roll into tabletop. Down we go. So I always find I need to reset. I'm going to bring my feet down, lift up, repeal, find a supported spine. We're going into toe taps, you guys. So with your supported spine, knee fold one, knee fold the other. Arms up is always your option. I'm going to start with arms. So if you're not doing arms, just hang tight here. I can be in a regular tabletop or I can be in what's called long tabletop, right? So regular tabletop, it's hiked at 90. If I push those legs out a little bit, it's harder. You can choose that. Start with the arms going over the head and floating to your thighs. Inhale over, exhale down. Inhale over. So I have equal space between my ankles and my knees. My legs are open. And now I'm going to start the leg action. Toe tap one foot down and bring it up and toe tap the other. Now as you're doing this, if you feel any deviation between the ribs and the hips, feel yourself arching or popping. I want you to decrease the range of motion or think more connection. If this is feeling good, you can start to straighten out that leg. Again, no movement through the spine, keeping it nice and controlled. Go three more, still working for you. You can go to scissor with legs straight as you do this. Keep your breath going. One more time on each. And last one. Now hold here in tabletop, and we're going to do double toe tap, nice and slow for four. Four, three, no rib pop. You don't have to touch down, you guys. Up, two, three. Working for you, go ahead and straighten the legs. Out, two, go slow, go slow. Three, four, and in. Two, three. Again, out, two, three, four, and in. Two, three. Nice. Choose how much your range of motion is. Last one. In, two, three, four. Knee fold one leg down, knee fold the other. Widen out your legs and take it into windshield washers. So here I'm just totally relaxing my arms to the side, but I'm allowing my pelvis now to have some good rotation. As I rotate, I'm also dropping this knee, getting into a bit of a 90-90 in a lying down position. So slow this down. Don't make it this, this small little movement up here. Rotate, drop that knee so you're internally rotating the hip in the socket, feel the little stretch, and then bring it up. So you are looking at that 90-90, and you're looking at that pelvis movement. Bring yourself to neutral, walk the feet back in, stretch out your right leg, bring up your left. Take your right hand on the outside of the left knee, over you go, lower back stretch. Rotate it through, make some distance between your ribs and hips, look in the opposite direction. If you're okay in these stretches and you want to go more flamenco and grab that foot or straighten out the leg, go right ahead. Couple breaths there. Try and relax your bottom butt cheek. And then slowly sweep the leg back into center. You're going to be crooked, so reset. Reach out the left, bring up the right. Left hand on the outside of the right knee. 
roll it over, look in the opposite direction. Make space for your QL to exist. If you want to go a little deeper, grab hold of that foot, take yourself into your deeper flamenco. Inhale, exhale. We are going to get some traditional hip rolls. Slowly bring that back. But before we go there, we are going to get a traditional hundreds. So reset, wiggle, find yourself in supported spine. Remember, neck issues, you don't have to roll up, right? I'm also going to extend the legs. You don't have to choose that. Inhale for nothing. Knee fold one leg, knee fold the other. Squeeze those legs together. Inhale, cervical nod. Exhale, roll up and reach the arms. Now, if this is where you want to stay, go ahead. If you want to kick those legs out, that's good too. And inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, ten. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, thirty. Remember, you can have the knees bent in. If you notice the neck is getting sore at all, you can put the head down and hold your paddles here. If the neck is getting sore, you're rolling back, right? You're dropping out of the flexion in your spine. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three. I think 10 more. Inhale, two, 20 more. Five. Exhale, two, three, four. One more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 100. Pull it in roll it down. We're going to keep the hands in our knees and use that to roll up. We're going to open up tabletop to stretch it. So fingers point same direction as booty. Sun's coming. I'm going to about to start into massive sweat here. So take an inhale. <laughs> Exhale, lift the hips. Again, ideally, if you can look back, that makes your spine neutral. Go ahead and then bring both sits bones down. Take an inhale. Exhale, press, open the chest. Big breath here. Exhale, booty down. One more time. We are going to go into wild thing from this. Lift and hold. Big breath. Exhale down. Now be towards the end of your mat on this one because we will stretch a leg out. All right? Take one hand in between and take this hand, rotate it so now the fingers are pointing away and it's not right underneath. It's reaching out because as I lift up, I'm going to push back. So grab your tail, lift. And now I've got that nice line. Open the hips. Look down to that hand if you can. Big breath. And then bring your booty down nice and slow. So if you come down slanted, work to both sit bones or ass cheeks touching. And then go ahead and press. Push into the back hip, getting that back hip stretching out. And then booty down. And one more full one. Press it up. Big breath. Exhale, bring it down. Stay here. If you know that it, this gets tough on the um, arm, drop to your elbow because we're going to go into a plank on the side. So push up just part way. Stretch out one leg. You can be on your knees. Turn your hips forward. If I need to keep that top leg bent and anchored, I can. If I'm okay, I'm going to look forward, put both feet stacked, reach the arm, and I'm in my star. Holding for five. Imagine my hands underneath your waistline, pulling up through the abdominals. Trying not to laterally flex. Three, two, place your back top leg behind. Sit your booty down. And we're going to just lie right long. All the way to long side leg lift series. So if I need to, I'm going to bend the knee, anchor the toe, or hover it parallel. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Point, flex. Imagine a little mouse hole underneath your waistline. You're nice and long. If you look down your body, your leg is coming straight out from the hip. Go two more. And one now. Add your circle. Side leg lift series. Two. Little circles. Inhale, exhale. Shoulders away from the ears. Go three. And two. Circle in opposition. So really watching you're not falling forward and backwards, right? Body's right between two planes of glass. My head is up to look at you, but I'd like your head down and relaxed. Now hold that leg hovering. Lift the body leg to greet and down. If you need this hand down like a pyramid, go ahead. Remember, if the head does not like this, then the shoulder doesn't like it, hand here with blocks underneath your head. Now we're going to do stagger. So lower the top leg, lift the top, lift the bottom, lower both. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale. If your back is bothering you, knees bent takes out the QL a little bit from the stress of the pressure from a straight leg. Straight leg is heavier, right? Lift, lift. Now doubles. Five, four, three, two. 
One, stay here. One leg forward, one leg back. Scissor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull your legs in. Press up into your mermaid. Tuck the heel so you're basically sitting on it. If you're super tight, sit up on a block. And we're just going to rotate the spine. This hand lines up with my sits bone. This body moves forward. I can either hand down behind my back or reach. And I'm going to come down and lift up. Inhale and exhale. Find that nice extension through your spine. Go one more. Come part way down, slide this hand, reach towards the foot, tuck it into your bum, lower the hip quietly to settle into your hips. Reach it into lateral the opposite direction, turn it into flexion, back into lateral, bring it all the way out. Beautiful. Take both legs, swing them over the other direction, and we're going to do, right from the very start of that sequence, we need to be closer to the end of the mat. We're going into that recovery from our previous movement. Fingers facing away, and we're going into that wild thing. Press those hips up. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, and press. Inhale, bring it down. You've got two more here, you guys. Exhale, press. Inhale down, give me one more. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Now on this one, we're not going to lift as high. And this is where if you need to drop to the elbow, that whole sequence can be done down there. I'm going to press up just a little bit. Find my balance point. Stretch out my bottom leg. If I want to, I can bend to the knee. Otherwise, the heel and foot anchors. My back foot can stay in line. I'm stacked over my shoulder. Someone's holding my hip up. If I'm okay, up into star. Hanging out there. Let's hold for five, four. Find your breath. Three, two. Top leg sets back. Sneak yourself down. Reach that right out. And we're going into our side leg lift series. So again, I don't want to prop my head out. I want it long. So if I can't do that, reach with a pad. Lift and lower the top leg. Inhale, exhale. Let your ear relax on your arm. Don't hold your head up. It's going to get really nasty very quickly. Imagine a small mouse hole underneath your waistline and you're just drawing up through the abdominals. And if you're looking straight forward, you should not be able to see your leg. Right? You're between two planes of glass. Go ahead and start your circles. If you need your fingertips down for balance, go ahead. Go slow and see if you can challenge the, not the up and down. Up and down isn't hard. The forward and backwards. See if that throws you off balance. Go ahead and go the opposite direction. So think more of a horizontal oval versus a beautiful circle. Go two more. This side I'm goofy. I got my fingers down. And one. Now reach that leg and just lift the top leg. Sorry, lift the top leg. Bring the bottom one lower. I'm wrong. Hold your top leg reaching. Lift your bottom leg to greet it. Lift, lower. There it is. Lift, lower. Notice how the abs turn on deeper. And the QL really kicks in on this. So if this is tough, lower your top leg if that's aggravating your lower back. Or bend the knees. Now do stagger. Lift the top leg, lift the bottom leg, lower both. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Watch you're not rolling back on your booty. That's where I know I want to go. Two more. Lift and lower. Last one. Lift, lift. Now squeeze both together. Doubles. Lift and lower. Five, four, three, two. One, and release. Pull your bottom leg in tight, and let's press it to tall. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Did I forget something? Kylie, did I forget anything? Okay, she's saying no. <laughs> rotate. I have to do this so I can see you well. Ha line up that hip, rotate, hand behind the small back, down or reaching, and down we go. <clears throat> the leg extending is optional, right? Inhale, exhale. If you can, when you come up here, lift that heart. Get into a little bit of extension there. And lift. Go one more time. And then as you come up on this one, tuck that heel into your bum. Take the time to settle into your hips. We're trying to get both sits bones down. That's a tough one. So if you can't do it, I'm, I'm slouching to get there. If you can't do it, sit up on a pad. Reach that arm, opposite direction of the front knee, and then rotate down to it. Bring it all the way out, 
and bring yourself all the way. Beautiful. We're going to swing those legs all the way around and get into some hammies. So I want you to grab behind your knees and gently roll it down. So we're going into, um, we'll do hip rolls. We'll play with both. We're going to do hip rolls and bridge. So remember, hip rolls is moving the spine. Bridge is coming up like a large unit. We're going to start with hip rolls. If your back is miffy, stay bridge. Take a nice strong inhale. Peel your spine vertebrae by vertebrae. Now, if I tuck my chin in, keep my head down, and look to my legs, I don't want to see my legs rolling out. I want to see them as a sit bone extension from my hips. She means my inner thighs are turned on. Harder arms are reaching or above the head and slowly come down. With above the head, I'm not resting them, they're active. Exhale, roll it all the way up, squeeze the glutes, inhale, keep. And exhale, roll it all the way down. Let's go again, start at your tailbone, roll it all the way up. Inhale here, and exhale, roll it down. So we're gonna stay up this time, roll it up, stay here, reach for the sky, widen out your legs a bit now so we're in a more shoulder width distance. Keeping a bridge position, open your arms, open your knees, lateral rotation, lower the bum almost to the bottom, and then squeeze your knees together. So if you notice here, I'm lifting my heels so that I can lower and lift, but get my hips into internal and external rotation, right? So I'm coming up on the ball of the foot slightly so I can get a shift without torquing my knee. So I'm going to lower and touch, lift and knock my knees together. When I knock the knees together, I'm getting internal rotation, and I should feel those inner thighs kicking in to the party. Go one more time. Keep your inner thighs touching and pulse up. Five, four, squeeze the booty. Three, two, one. Find parallel. Peel it down. Reset yourself back into sits bone. So your heels are right in line with your sits bone. You can kind of feel that. Find yourself in neutral. Bridge up to where you feel nicely challenged. If your feet are out here, um, lifting the heels is going to be awkward, so make sure they're a little closer in. Arms reaching harder. Lift both heels. Lower both heels. Lift both heels and lower. So neutral is normally where we cue this. If you've got something going on in the back, lower it a bit and give me a small tuck of the tailbone in to support it. Harder, reach the arms above the head. So we're going to add, I just want you to lift the right heel. Don't let this pelvis shift at all. Now from that right heel lifted, pull it all the way up. Holding here, hip, hip, rib, rib, square, bent or straight leg up to you, extend and fold in. Inhale, exhale. Press it away. Squeeze the glute and the hamstring of the leg that you're on. Let's go four more. And three, warming up those glutes and those hammies. Two, keep that leg reaching to the sky, either bent or straight or parallel it to your other leg. That's going to be heavier and harder. Notice how the hip wants to rotate. Pull it up, squeeze your butt cheek. Five, four, three, two, one. Fold that foot down. Take the leg that you were weight loading in, cross it into a four, slowly sink. So if this is tight, you're staying here. If you're okay, you can roll up, grab and pull it in deeper. Um, Kylie, any of you guys who can do double pigeons, you know, you guys can come up and go into that forward fold. You know my body's not going to go there, so you guys are going to enjoy that, and I'm going to stay right here. Couple little inhales, exhales. Choose where you want to go. We're all very different with that hip mobility here. Choose what is giving you a nice stretch. Remember the leg that's crossed over right now is the one that you had working that was down on the floor. It was your anchor point. Slowly unpretzel that. Reset your feet nice and strong. Find yourself parallel sits. Let's roll it up to that position again. And we're going to start with the heel lifts again. Lift and lower. Inhale, exhale. Got this. Supported spine or neutral. Glutes are turned on. Feels good. Reach to the sky or reach above the head. Again, not resting. Connected. Go one more time. And then you're going to lift the opposite heel. As you lift that heel, turn on your glute and your hamstring here. Square up your hips. Once you've got that, up comes the leg. Knee bent, leg straight, up to you. Press and pull. So on this leg, I'm not going to full extension. If you're getting here and you can go farther to the ground without moving the pelvis, go ahead. Right. So if you can get more range of motion on that leg, please do so. Where my limits are are not your limits. Choose where you can go safely in your body. Let's go two more. 
and one. Now either reaching to the sky, bent or straight, or parallel to the other leg. Find that butt. Imagine a string on this hip. Pull it up. Squeeze. Squeeze. Squeeze that glute and ham. Five, four, three, two, one. Foot goes down. Cross the opposite leg. Float that down. Choose where you're going here, you guys. Right? So you can pull up. You can roll up. You can go double pigeon. Inhale, exhale. The recovery is yours. Just play around with it. Couple cycles of breath. And then slowly unfold. If you're already in seated, stay there because we're going to roll over and go into our extension work. So roll it all the way over onto your bellies. And we need to reset this. So I just want you to just come onto your belly, laterally rotate, let your abs go, let your glutes go. My hands are into my, my forehead is into my hands and I'm just wiggling. I'm just wiggling my belly from left to right. Cycle your breath here. We're going to start with Spider-Man and then we're going to just increase that. We're going to do a little bit of swimmer today. So go ahead and find your hands just beside you. Legs are open, small lateral rotation or parallel, but open is comfortable. Tuck your chin in, put your forehead down. This is not comfortable. Put a mat underneath your neckline, right? Underneath your forehead. Take your arms, reach them, and let your shoulders now drop. So notice how the shoulders just sort of with gravity drop to the floor. If this bothers the neck, turn the cheek. If not, stay here. Now I want you to just pull up your abs, Pull your abs up and in, and notice how that slightly changes you into a bit more of a neutral or supported spine. Squeeze your butt cheeks and lift your legs an inch, just an inch. It's not a big lift. Now straighten your knees fully. Roll your shoulders so that they're equal to the sides of your body, and then reach your arms. Just a Superman here. So I'm not lifting an extension. I'm just Superman. Inhale. Exhale. Let everything fold down. You can turn the cheek if it feels better. And then exhale, lift to Superman. Very subtle. And then bring it down one more time. Exhale, lift to Superman. Now hold here. Drop the ball of your, or the top of your foot down and feel the knees straighten out fully. Press into that foot. Reach your arms a bit more actively. And you might need to lift your chest a bit and find yourself now extended through thoracic and cervical. So we're going to lower into Superman, lengthen into extension. Inhale down, exhale, lengthen up. This feels good. Go ahead when you lengthen up, lift those legs, squeeze the glutes, and add active through the lower half as well. So everything's touching gently, and then we're lifting. So now we're going a bit bigger than Superman. Go two more, and a reach. And last one. Now stay up here in the reach. If you're feeling lower back is sore, lower the legs or engage those abs. Watch, you're not pushing them into the floor. Lift and lower, shoulders into extension only. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. How much extension can you get through the shoulder girdle? Let's go three. If that back is bothering you, lower the legs, but keep those legs active and energized. Go one more. Bring the hands all the way forward. Push back into your child's pose, rounded spine, or all the way up into lengthened. Whatever recovery is for you. We're going to inch our way into swimmer. Swimmer's an awkward one. It's a smooth cycle of breath, but if you feel you want to do a staccato breath or a sip, 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 go ahead. I find sip, sip, sip easier. Bring yourself all the way back. Have a small lateral rotation. So I'm bending my knees. Heels come into the bum. I'm laterally rotating and then I'm reaching those legs actively. So there is a lateral rotation. I'm going to start with my hands here. From there, pull your abs in. Exhale, lift just a little bit. If you can lift higher and maintain it, go ahead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap one hand and my opposite foot. So I'm going to go one, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three. Now, if you've got this, start to walk your arms out longer. So they're going above your head. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Now change it to twos. One, two, switch, two. One, two. Two, switch two. If you're okay, change it to singles. Stay where you need to. If you're still okay, hover the floor. Inhale two, 
three, four, exhale, two, three, four, two more, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, one more, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, reach with both and gently come down, push all the way back again. That's a tough coordination one. Little inhale, exhale. Breathe into that lower back, stretch it out. And then we're going to go into a nice big swan. We're going to extend that extension farther. Pull all the way forward. On this one, we've got a bigger lateral rotation. That doesn't mean your legs are wider. It just means make sure you have a good lateral rotation. I like to feel the corner of my mat and get my feet into that corner so I know they're equal on both sides because I can't see it. Hands by my side, abs drawn in. Push the marble with your nose, press into your palm, and lengthen up. So we're not going Gumby back, we're pulling up through the abdominals with strength. Inhale here. Think of pulling yourself longer as you lengthen your spine back down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, as you lengthen up, Look off to one side. So you shouldn't feel that compromised kind of pressure in the lower back on this one. That's, that's for our floppies. Let's go again. Lengthen up. Look to the opposite side. Really pull those abs in. Shift those shoulders into your back pockets and bring it down. This time, glider two if it's in your practice. Glide it up. Opposite heel to tush. Nice, strong inhale. Watch not twisting. And bring it all the way down. And one last time. Push that marble. Pull those abs in. Rotate through. Nice big breath for me. Exhale, bring it all the way down. Push into your hands, press it back, and lengthen through into whatever recovery feels good for you. Couple inhales, exhales as you go there, you guys. Breathe nice and strong. And then we're going to go into a back support. So go ahead and bring your legs forward in front of you. Ideally, there's a turnout happening. If you've got issues in your feet, you can put a block so that your feet are dangling off and it just makes it a little easier to find this lift. So if you find this difficult and you feel too much pressure in the lower half, use a block or roll up your pad or put a pillow or something if you've got something you can just grab. So from here, I've got a lateral rotation and I'm trying to get my baby toes down. That, that's not a doable in everybody's body. So if that's really difficult, the block helps that. My hands are behind my back facing my booty. So I'm trying not to jam out. If I go this way, I'll jam out, right? From here, I'm going to sink, push into my legs, and lift my hips as I come up. So my hands are a bit too close to my booty. Now I'm lifting. So it's a reverse plank. Nice and strong here. Look to the sky. And exhale, come down like a hinge. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, scoop the abdominals. Press into those feet, push those hips to the sky, lift and open, big breath here. And exhale, roll it down. And one more time, press it all the way up. Now here's the, here's the, the shits and giggles. Push into one leg, nice and strong along the side of the leg. Lift and lower your opposite leg. Doesn't have to be high. Can be high if you want. Watch your bum's not dropping. Go two more, full hamstring line, kind of like parakeet and split parakeet. This just got ugly fast, right? Lower that leg. Bring it all the way down. We're going to do one more. You can do this on your elbows. If your wrists are like, hell no, go to, your go to your elbows. Go ahead and lengthen up. Find that connection. And lift lower the opposite leg. Find that line. Go for four. Exhale, three. And last two. And last one. Reach it long. Bring it all the way down. That's one of those really deceiving exercises that we can't figure out why it's so hard to do. Um, there's a lot of the posterior line waking up in that. Take the legs, swing them all the way around. Come into your four-point stance. And we're just going to get a nice rotation here. So we're going to thread the needle. Hand that's staying down, bring it closer in and point it towards you. So it's too close. What feels too close? Opposite hand comes in down by your thigh. Bend. If you can get your shoulder down there, great. Look towards the sky. If you're okay, stretch it up. Still okay, bind this hand behind your waistline. Roll your shoulder open. Couple really good breaths down here. Now, if you can't get your shoulder down and you're only on your neck, your hand is staying on the floor. Bring the hand back down, push away from the floor. Derotate. Give a little no on the neckline. 
a little wiggle left and right. Internally rotate, bring it in closer. Thread the needle down past the other leg. Tuck your arm right underneath. Bring that shoulder down. Push your hips in opposition. Stretch the arm to the sky or bind behind the back. Couple nice breaths here, you guys. Again, super hard place to take in big breaths. Try to open up those lungs. The bigger the breath, the bigger the stretch. One more. Bring that hand back down. Unfold yourself. Bring your hands what feels too far forward. Curl the toes. Up we go, prancing into your down dog. Take your time here, down dog or elephant. Push into those toes, stretch them out. Drop nice and deep, settle into your hips. Again, if this is tight, bend the knees, lift the heels. Small poodle wag if you're able to here. Slow your breath. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Walk your hands, come out of your chest, walk your hands back. Again, flat hand, try not to fingertip it, which means bend the knees if you need to. Heel toe open and sneak into ragdoll. So I'm looking through my legs. Now, if I don't need my elbows on my quads, I'll, I'll free hang. I'm keeping my elbows on. I'm not a fan of unsupported flexion in my body right now. Remember every morning and you wake up, you're kind of blessed with a different body. So just honor whatever it's giving it to you. And then bend, slowly come all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. We were just in a deep flexion. So let's just take the hands on the back on the PSIS, kind of wiggle, release it off, push those hips out a little bit. Cycle that chest, open it up. Again, if this feels aggressive in the hip flexors, but you want more stretch into the back, bend the knees and then push into the pelvis. If you're feeling a big difference between left and right, honor that. We will tend to feel that in a stretch like this. Big breath here. Slowly bring it back into neutral. Give a few little wiggles. And let's take a breath. Inhale as you come all the way up. Lift your heart. Exhale, hands down, center heart. And let's go in opposition to that. Open it up. Stretch it really big as we come open, you guys. Roll those shoulders and we are done.